Hi and welcome to the session. Uh, in today's session, we are uh, going to briefly talk about literary adaptation. Uh, what is literary adaptation? Uh, why literary adaptations are carried out? And uh, what are the characteristics of uh, uh, transforming a literary work into uh, another genre? And what are uh, some of the examples of literary adaptation? So, first of all, what is adaptation? Uh, adaptation is uh, transposing a work from one medium to another. Uh, it is uh, reconfiguration and reformulation of something already established. So, uh, adaptation take, takes place when one genre becomes another. Uh, so, it involves transformation or reformulation of one thing into another. So, Adaptation is not a process that uh, creates something. Uh, it is not uh, an innovative process. Rather, uh, it uh, recreates something uh, on the basis of already existing thing. So, uh, creation and uh, recreation, these two different terminologies are to be considered uh, while understanding uh, adaptation process. Uh, for example, um, if a novel or a short story is adapted for stage, it must be rewritten as a play, keeping in view all the characteristics of a play, because um, uh, a novel or a story is altogether different from uh, a play uh, based upon uh, their formulative ca uh, characteristics. Similarly, if a play is adopted as a story, it needs to be rewritten as a novel or a short story because again play uh, is different from a story or a novel uh, furthermore if a novel is adapted as a film then it must be reshaped or reformulated as a film considering the features of a film because uh, a novel and a film uh, both are altogether different entities uh, one is based on word discourse, novel is based on word discourse, rather a film is based on image discourse. So a literary adaptation is the transformation of a written work such as a novel, short story or a play into another medium, most commonly film or television. So literary adap adaptation uh, is a process uh, that entails uh, transforming of uh, one genre, be it novel, short story or a play into another medium and mostly uh, uh, another medium is uh, a movie or a television and uh, uh, we are here concerned with uh, uh, novels, uh, adaptation uh, uh, for screen or movies. So, uh, um, uh, we'll talk about uh, uh, characteristics of literary adaptation for screen. Uh, we know uh, this uh, process involves taking uh, the source material and reimagining it to fit the new format, uh, which often includes modifying the plot, characters, and dialogues to suit the screen. For example, uh, novels are transformed into films, but this process is not as simple as it appears to be because uh, as earlier we uh, talked about uh, adaptation that uh, this process is uh, uh, transforming one genre into another, but it is not uh, a replicating uh, process or it is not uh, just uh, copying uh, from one genre to another rather it requires uh, some skills on the part of uh, writer and uh, there are some areas to be considered for example uh, form characterization and time so these three uh, uh, areas are very much important while uh, adapting uh, a novel into a film uh, as we know that novel is a narrative uh, it is based on a narration while a film is an image. So there is the difference between a narration 
and uh, an image so novel contains a host of character while there are fewer uh, characters in a film so again uh, uh, characterization of uh, a novel and characterization within a film is different because novel contains a host of characters there are uh, you know many characters involved in a no- uh, novel because novel uh, is a sustained story so it uh, entails a host of characters while uh, in movie or in a film there are fewer characters so again uh, the producer or uh, the person who is uh, uh, adapting or who is converting a novel into film he must or she must consider this uh, uh, this aspect that novel is a narrative and now he or she has to transform a narration into uh, a film or an image and again uh, he or she has to uh, consider the characterization as well because uh, one genre contains more character while uh, um, the other genre contains fewer characters similarly uh, in a novel characters are described while uh, in a movie or in a film characters are presented and uh, uh, then there is uh, a time factor that novel is a sustained story Uh, but film is limited to 2 or 3 hours so while uh, reading a novel we can uh, uh, postpone it and we can have uh, plenty of time uh, in order to complete that novel but uh, so far as the film is concerned so it is uh, time bound meaning that uh, within 2 to 3 hours the whole plot needs to be Uh, completed uh, because uh, uh, there is a time uh, factor involved in a movie mostly movies uh, are based uh, on 2 to 3 hours then uh, we move on to what is the purpose of adapting uh, novels into movies uh, as we know that adaptations have a unique appeal for both creators and audiences because uh, those who are involved in uh, the process of uh, creating or adapting uh, a mo- novel into movie so uh, it has appeal uh, for them uh, and uh, it also has appeal for the audiences because uh, audience they uh, they are uh, you know uh, they are targeted by the creators so ultimately audience they have uh, their interest uh, in movies and their interest is always uh, considered by the creators so there are some uh, reasons why uh, these adaptation uh, are so popular uh, in contemporary times first uh, enhancing audience so um, as we know that movies can be enjoyed by people who don't usually read uh, we know that uh, um, reading is a habit that is uh, not uh, uh, you know popular with uh, you know common public uh, there is uh, you know um, a short uh, uh, strata in our society uh, who are interested in reading so uh, when these movies uh, sorry when these novels get uh, you know uh, adapted for a uh, movie ultimately it enhances uh, uh, the audience because most of the people they are interested in watching movies because they don't have uh, you know re- reading habit they, uh, they don't have time to um, read out uh, bulky books so uh, they have uh, Uh, and at the same time they don't have uh, interest uh, in reading as well so uh, when these uh, novels are transformed into movies ultimately it enhances uh, uh, its re- uh, audience similarly uh, generating uh, revenue is another factor that novels to screen adaptations can earn more re- revenue uh, as we know that when a novel is written Uh, it is uh, published and uh, 
it gets its its readership ultimately it uh, generates uh, revenue but uh, after some time when uh, more no more novels are uh, published so ultimately the uh, the revenue gets stuck somewhere so when these novels are uh, transformed into movies so ultimately this is another uh, you know um, point where revenue can be generated uh, furthermore so it is uh, you know it has uh, a monetary uh, benefit as well and uh, Uh, thirdly engaging children so movies can capture children's imaginations evoke emotions and help uh, develop uh, analytical thinking skills so uh, movies are more popular with children uh, we know that uh, uh, young lord they are uh, very much interested in watching movies so uh, through movies uh, the creator they Uh, they engage uh, children and they uh, inculcate uh, different you know characteristics uh, uh, in children so it is uh, a very um, uh, beneficial and very important uh, uh, aspect uh, uh, which can be explored so far as uh, children are concerned so uh, uh then uh, we have different uh, examples of literary adaptations um uh, there are plenty of literary adaptations we know uh, uh, those uh, have achieved critical and commercial success um we know that there are numerous examples of literary adaptation be it uh, novels Uh, into movies or dramas into movies because uh, we know that shakespeare's uh, plays have been adopted for movies and uh, uh, these uh, movies uh, are very uh, popular uh, but we are concerned here with uh, novels so uh, i would just give you some examples of novels who have been uh, uh, transformed or adopted as mo- uh, movies Uh, gone with the wind uh, it is a novel uh, written by margaret mitchell uh, in 1936 and uh, 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 the movie uh, gone with the wind was released uh, in 1939 uh, after 3 years of uh, its publication and it is considered uh, one of the greatest love stories and even one of the best movies of all time Uh, this movie uh, won 10 uh, academy awards and it became the highest uh, earning film and it is still technically the greatest uh, grossing film in the cinema history so gone with the wind uh, is uh, the first and foremost example of literary adaptation uh, similarly we have uh, pride and prejudice by jane austen uh, this novel uh, also adapted into several films and tv uh, series and uh, it is uh, one of the most uh, uh, prominent and masterpieces of uh, jane austen uh, then we have uh, wuthering heights uh, by emily bronte uh, again it's uh, uh, very popular and uh, uh, interesting love story uh, that was written by uh, victorian novelist uh, emily bronte it was also adapted uh, into movie and which uh, uh, got so much fame uh, among the audience then we have uh, uh, harry potter series by jk rowling uh, it is uh, uh, one of the most successful book to film franchises in history uh, it captures the imagination of millions of people worldwide and uh, still it uh, it is capturing uh, the imagination and interest of uh, you know people uh, around the world uh, then we have uh, the great uh, gatsby by uh, f scott fitzgerald and uh, it is uh, another uh, example of uh, literary adaptation and uh, 
to conclude we can say that uh, literary adaptation is uh, a new genre uh, uh, which uh, which uh, which is most you know popular among uh, its audience and uh, it is uh, uh, it is the transposing uh, a work from one medium to another or from one genre to another and mostly you know dramas and novels uh, are uh, uh, reconfigured uh, as movies uh, and uh, normally uh, it is done uh, uh, with the view uh, to capture more audience and generate more uh, revenue and uh, uh, I hope